We got to talk about deliveries. 4,200 down slightly from 4,600. Uh, when I went to borrow this car, I went to the store, met up with the new manager, met up with uh, some of the sales rep friends, and uh, I asked them what was the situation like. And uh, they said, you know, last month in October, that store sold about 50 cars. But then this month, it's been pretty uh, quiet. All right, that's the phrase you use, quite, pretty quiet. And um, yeah, when I was there, there were basically just one or two customers checking out the cars and it's been um it's been slow so far this month okay and that's the best way to put it now what is neil doing on the strategy front to improve sales well as you guys may know beforehand uh neil would rent out the cars basically well not rent out the cars give you the car for free for up to two weeks 14 days and then they lowered it down to seven days and now it's 24 hours so if you are a prospective buyer and you're interested in buying this car you could get a neo for 24 hours basically a test driver for 24 hours and then give it back neo's doing that and it's apparently it's not in every city in all in the smaller cities all the vehicle models uh, can be test driven for uh, test driven for 24 hours in the bigger cities apparently it's only the seven series cars so the es7 ec7 and et7 those are the only cars that you can actually um, you know borrow for 24 hours basically it's uh because those cars aren't exactly selling super well what is neil also doing on the promotion front uh pretty much the same promotion throughout uh, the year you get 5,000 RMB straight up discount uh, can be used for options for the car and then also inventory cards just a straight discount 10,000 new points and then one year of free NOP plus worth 4,560 RMB and they're pushing the big number uh, 27,000 RMB saved in purchase tax okay that's their promos that's the promo all right low interest rates all right near zero almost zero well not exactly zero maybe like one or two percent 2.6 last time i checked low interest rates and then also you could technically buy the car uh with zero down payment it's basically the same promotion and if you're doing what you you've always been doing you can't really expect results to change by themselves all of a sudden right unless you come out with some promotion you know last year we had a rush in q4 deliveries in 2022 q4 everybody was rushing to buy the car it was because they wanted the subsidy the national ev subsidy it was going away and by the end of 2022 that was the cutoff date and what neil did was of course Neil also promised uh, prospective buyers that even if you can't take delivery of the car in 2022, as long as you place the order before the end of 2022, you still get uh, the discount into January. All right. And Neil's paying for the uh, subsidy, essentially. It's coming out of Neil's pocket. So that really helped Q4 deliveries massively. And then also uh, January and February deliveries. And then March deliveries was just basically heavy hardcore promos because they were getting rid of the first gen neos that was pretty wild period to go through july august launch of the et5t and es6 it was a hot product and also the last wave of free battery swap as you can tell you know last year you bought the car you get free battery swap and ev subsidy in july if you bought the car even though you don't get ev subsidy you still get free battery swap but now it, it's come to a period of time where you don't have any of those so it's very, very difficult. You, you're just competing without a lot of the uh, incentives that you used to have. So what that might cause is that we might have lower deliveries in Q4 than Q3. It's very possible. All right? It's very possible. Unless Neil comes out with a super crazy promotion that's going to really get people to buy the car. Uh, Neils are very sensitive to pricing. I mean, like you, you, you discount the car for a little bit people are going to come and buy the car now going forward i don't expect q4 this year to be like the other q4s in the previous years because previous years it was 
basically always a rush to get your cars delivered because the subsidy is going to get decreased next year. This year, there's no subsidy. There's no, there's nothing that's uh, causing people to panic buy essentially. All right, because back then it was just panic buy, panic buy. People were just rushing to get the car early. When I bought my Neo, it was like thirty six thousand RMB discount in. Uh, subsidies all right that, that's pretty crazy and every year it just goes down to 20 something to 10 something and then to nothing now it's nothing there's no there's nothing to push people there's no urgency right if there's no there's no urgency then very difficult to see a, a massive increase upwards to 20,000 30,000 deliveries plus unless they do what some of the other guys like the autos doing give a lot of extra stuff i mean like Lee Auto, I mean, like, the, the benefit of selling a lot of cars, like Lee Auto does, is they have a lot of money to spend. And what better than to spend it on further incentives to further accelerate sales. So they get money, they use that money to get more sales, which is a pretty smart thing to do, in my opinion. I think what Neil might do is just, instead of spending money and wasting money on incentives and discounts and promotions, I think Neil is just going to let it be. All right, essentially just let it be whatever it is right now and just you know people want to buy the car sure let the car speak for themselves we're not they're not going to do any crazy promote promos or anything and just focus their efforts on the sub brand and get that car out the alps car all right otherwise also known as ed all right ed or maybe they might just call it the d series car because a lot of people here in china did catch wind that ed does not sound that good going forward i think the deliveries are going to be quite stagnant because if you're not seeing a lot of customers in the stores right now then that means down the line 20 days later 30 days later they're not you're not going to see that many deliveries all right and neil has about like uh around 10,000 orders backlogged not a whole lot but the sales reps they are working very very hard phone calls all that kind of stuff but there's nothing to push people before you could say hey subsidy is going away and or, or or free battle swaps going away now it's just like telling them hey the the the, the zero percent purchase tax you know uh, the general attitude of a lot of people like even with my uh, videos here in chinese in china uh, the purpose of those videos of course is to get people to buy a neo use my referral code some of them i chat with them i ask them why they're not interested in buying the a neo after uh test driving the car most of them they just say that the incentive isn't there compared to before but i do still tell people you know buy an inventory car that's where all the incentive is at some of them do listen and tell people inventory car is the one to get that's where all the discount is at. I mean, massive discounts for inventory cars.